and they almost killed me over there. They jump. I remember it. I saw Dunstone, and then I, I, I thought it's gonna be done. I, I hope you just know who I am. I cannot give comment about that place. For me, in Europe, it became a little bit like a routine. Create your own website with ease using Hostinger AI Website Builder. Simply describe what you need in the prompt box and let AI generate a unique website for you. Hostinger. Three, two, online. Welcome to Baske News Film Session. I'm here with Vasilya Mitic and we're going to watch some of your career videos, react to them, and you can break it down for the viewers. I think the most iconic shot in, the, in your EuroLeague career. This is in the Final Four in 2022, Belgrade. And what, what was going on in your mind or is this pure instinct? What's happening? Yeah, I mean, this one was... Uh... Pure instinct. I never took this shot uh, in my life. This step side left. Normally I took between the legs, step back, but Sasha was a little bit short. Actually, he caught me, but I just hold for a second and yeah. I thought it's short, honestly. And then once I saw Swish, <laughs> it looks perfect. And honestly, everything was set up well, but I didn't expect to make it, honestly. Just we knew that we were going to attack him, and thanks God, walk up was moving away and... So so you like that switch, of course, when you saw that they switched? Did you, yes, did you... that was the idea of Atama. He, uh -huh. he told us to attack him and to initiate the switch and maybe they could have played hedge, but it was risky because Momo could have been open, but it is what it is. Yeah, and what, Happy would, shot. what would you rate uh, Vezenkov's defense here? Because it looks like he's right there. Great, great. It was even a little bit hold, you see. Yeah. I hold it for a second. I have no idea, honestly. I would never repeat this shot, probably, but I just knew I'm going to shoot. I just knew that. I, I knew I'm not going to go to... I wasn't going to go to lap. That's yeah. for sure. And what about the celebration, falling down on your back? Normally, maybe you guys know, but I'm not so famous about some exp expressions. Yeah. Uh, my game is kind of boring for watchers, but this one I had to celebrate because I lost my legs for a second, so... I fall down and they almost kill me over there. They jump. I remember it. I saw Dunstone and then I, I, I thought it's going to be done. So you got the ball against KD. Is he that light or are you that strong? What happened here? I don't uh, People are, I mean, it looked like it was a push, but it's not, it was not push off. Uh -huh. Honestly, just I think he wanted to take the charge and uh, I don't know. He, he expected me to push him and make offensive, but he was so lazy that game and I don't think he took us so serious because he's KD, he's the best player, one of the best ever. Just again, a lot of luck. I don't think I was so, so into whatever it is, <laughs> okay. falling him down or whatever. I just was lucky because I had to react, otherwise it was offensive foul. But you think it was a flop, essentially, from him? I don't know, I don't know. I really don't know how everything happened. I, after people mm. posted so much, and I, normally I don't even watch games, but uh, that move was mm. because of KD, not because of me, very famous. And, and then KD said this, this quote, that you're crafty, he knows how to play the position, smart, taking advantage of his opportunities, I'm happy for him. How did that make you feel? I, I hope you just know who I am. <laughs> Maybe just ask him because I did the move, but uh -huh. if he really thinks that, thanks, thanks, him, thanks to him. Did you feel like it took some time for you to earn respect from, from the NBA guys, even coming as, as a EuroLeague MVP, former EuroLeague MVP? Did, did you feel like you have like a target on your back? I think they didn't know who I am, Okay. most of the guys, but a little by little with some experience. Even in, in OKC, my statistic was not maybe the the, the close, closest, closest to, to what I wanted or maybe people expect, but my contribution was for that team who is such a talented, something that I could have done the best. I couldn't, I could have, I could not done anything better because those kids are so, so talented and, and they already set up their, their team according to the talent. But also in Charlotte, I gained more minutes and maybe a little by little earn, as you said, respect. But. Before that, I don't think they knew who I am. How, how did that happen that you have in this picture Yanis Antetokounmpo, yourself and, and uh, Sar Pataman? We, we met, me and Yanis, accidentally in that restaurant and uh, Sar was also with his mother, I think, or friends around and he just uh, took picture. Of course, I know Sar so, much, so well from FSN. Nice picture. 
You heard what he was saying about uh, becoming a coach, maybe better than his dad. I cannot give comment about that, please. <laughs> Okay, and just talking about Panikos uh, and and their success this year, do you see similarities between what happened in Ataman's FS where you were yeah. for, for those years and and this Panikos? What are the similarities and maybe differences you see? Similarities a lot, new team, new hype, just more experienced players, and I think that's what created their success in the final game, which we missed against CSK in our first season, but. Definitely a lot of similarities and a lot of good, um, good uh, examples. What is the meaning of coach and what is the meaning of confidence when players can can have with mm. with coach together? And do you think they can be successful for the next few years with what they built so far? Uh, can this be a continuous success, or do you think? Well, I mean, with Atom, you never know. Just because he he really has great motivation. Uh, to to become best version of himself, and uh, he definitely did unbelievable job in the last four years, or let's say five, including the one in COVID. But uh, I'm sure that it's going to a lot depend on motivation of players because he's the one who likes to trust players, players' dedication, players' motivation, and I hope that this title will not. Stop them of that having that and him of having another title. This is the highlights of your first NBA, NBA game as a Hornet. Uh -huh. Did you have any specific thoughts before this game? Obviously, you finished with 18 points, nine assists. At that point, was your career high? Were you thinking anything that I need to come out in the first game, prove myself? Uh, so the situation is a bit different than in the OKC. Uh, no, I didn't even know I'm gonna play. I was gonna play in my mind the next game and then I came that morning early flight and when they told me you have to go through the set places I was shocked honestly because I was tired as hell I was packing the night before and the uh, coach said let's go go through the setups and what could I say I had to play just lastly it seemed like you were controlling the pace of the team much more it seemed like you were actually playing as, as a real point guard of this team compared to the OKC where you would just come off the bench a little bit uh, of a less of a role. What would you say is the biggest difference between being a point guard in the NBA and controlling the pace of the team and in the EuroLeague? I mean, the biggest difference once you have the responsibility that it's your becoming target in every, every meaning of that word. So as you are creating difference in offense, that's what teams are trying to create against you in defense as well. So the capability of playing both ends is the key. Uh, having consistency is the key. Because over there, everybody has talent. I mean, it's, it's, it's a fact, especially those top guys and top players. But uh, being in, in, in position to be first point guard in the NBA, consistency is, is a key. Like, you got to be the best version in every aspect of the game of yourself, honestly. That's my belief. Of course, in Europe as well, but for me in Europe it became a little bit like a routine because I, I learn every system, I learn every coach, I learn every player, so I kind of knew what to expect. But over there, <laughs> over there, every game is like a last game for for the most of the players. Davos Vasilevic, thank you very much. Thank you, brother.